I see my Chicho seizing bank accounts is a form of censorship it is uh, financial censorship barring people from commerce yeah it's insane gang by the way like if you live in a country where the government can and this is personal finance advice how to be anti-fragile and make sure you, you you can you can weather the storm if you live in a country where a government can seize your bank account without due process just with a phone call right and it's not just the just the government because the government told the banks these are the people that they want uh, uh, their bank accounts to be frozen and without a court order the banks did it right that's full-on fascism merger of corporation and government together right so the banks sh should be held liable for what has taken place but that's going to take a long time to play out it doesn't pay the rent for the single mom right that is working minimum wage that is going to become homeless like just imagine the canadian government in collaboration with the banks right two of the most powerful institutions in our country right like unbelievable they're making single moms that are working minimum wage they're seizing their bank accounts and they're making them homeless right and this is going to happen to thousands tens of thousands of canadians by the way tens of thousands of canadians businesses are being shut down because their bank accounts have been frozen my god okay so if you live in that type of country we do in canada you need to pull your money out I've been recommending family to do this. You go to your bank, pull out money in cash, pull out money uh, in Canadian dollars and US dollars. Make sure you have enough funds to pay your way for at least six months to a year, right? Uh, store it in the safety deposit box. Go into the forest and find a rock and put it under it. Safer place than a bank, right? safest place in the bank make sure you have enough funds to pay your way for the next few months otherwise you're up shit creek okay it's insane and i have no idea why uh people uh the whole population does not question what is happening right one of the reasons they don't is because there's a merger of uh, media and government as well right corporate media government as well so they're parroting the thing but anyone that has any sense economic sense any sense of how commerce is done econ economy functions right understand that this is a death blow to an economy to a country that's as an individual that lives in that country right if you're a foreign investor and you have assets money in the bank uh, businesses you own in this in a country that has gone full-on totalitarian fascist that is that is seizing bank accounts you would be a fool to keep your money in that country why the f would you keep your money in a in that country? it's like investing in north korea why the fuck would you invest in north korea what are you what why would any foreign investor put their money in canada right why you have to be one dumb sob to do it man well, unless unless you're you know from the world economic forum and you just control the government right occupy territory that's my take it's you know I, i'm hoping walls don't go up once the economy really grinds to a halt and basically becomes 90 percent government uh gdp is 90 percent government just imagine 